Hello everyone. I thought I'd do a little crafting video and this is how to make a friendship bracelet. So what you're going to need is a bit of cardboard, a plate, something to draw around, a pair of scissors, a pen and some wool. You can have lots of different colours um, or I'm just going to use two colours. So I'm going to draw around my plate cut the circle out and then I'll show you what happens next okay welcome back so the next thing you're going to need to do is to get yourself a ruler sorry forgot to mention you need one of those but you can use any straight edge really edge of a book or uh, anything just um, figure out where the middle is and you're going to cut it in half half again doesn't have to be absolutely accurate, but if you want to do it with the protractor, you can. A couple more times, so that you've got eight lines. There, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and then we're going to cut just a little notch, not all the way down, just a little notch, a little bit. So that down there, not that far into the cardboard. That's it, nicely down. So you've got a little notch there. And then what we need to do is to make a little hole in the middle. So I've got some scrap card. I've got a scrap card. I'm going to fold it up so it makes a little, uh, something to stick my um, scissors through. Again, as in previous videos, make sure that you get help if you need to do this. So then I'm just going to take my scissors and stick a little hole in the middle. And I'm going to make that a bit bigger because you're going to want to make it big enough to put eight strands of card through. There we go. So that's done. Put a hole in there, but no hole in my side. So that's good. Okay, just make that a little bit bigger. There we go. Okay, once you've cut the hole in the middle, what you then need to do is to cut your string, your yarn, your wool. Um, you can use shoelaces, you can use anything that's, um, uh, that you want to make your bracelet out of. It could be quite thin thread or um, wool that I'm using. And what I've done is I've cut seven lengths that are about, about half a metre long. Um, hopefully that's going to be long enough. Um, and then what you do is, once you've got your seven, tie a knot in one end. There we go. So just tie a little knot. Yep. And then I'm going to stick the knot through one of the holes. And then you're going to take your string and you're going to put them in seven of the slots. You can alternate them, you can have them together, it doesn't really matter. If you alternate them, it will make a nice twisty pattern. You can have all the same colours, you can have seven different colours. Entirely up to you. It's all about individuality, it's all about creating. So there we go. So, we now have your knot through the middle, at the end, there, and seven down your down the um, cuts that you made okay so now what you do is see this one here you're going to count one two three back so you're going to hold the knot at the back one two three and then you're going to bring that to the empty space and you're going to count again one two three and bring that to your empty space Turn your disc again, one, two, three, and bring that to your empty space. So every time you're turning your disc, you're going to count three. And as you can see, where I alternated mine, they're now was gone different. So don't worry about that, and um, that's what's going to start creating the pattern. So we're going to continue like this for quite a bit. One, two, three. Take the third one, 
put it in the gap. Turn. One, two, three. Take the third one. Oops, third one. Put it in the gap. Now, if you want to put it down, go and have a cup of tea. It's fine, because when you come back, you know, there's your gap. You've just got to count three. Hold the bit at the back again and start again. There's my third one. One, two, three. And start again. Turn it. One, two, three. Take my third one and start again. And you can see it's just beginning to start knitting there to make a little bracelet. And that's all you keep doing. One, two, three. It's quite soothing. You can sit and do this. Listen, listen to some music. One, two, three. Watch the birds. Do you know, nice and relaxing. It's quite mesmerising, really. But all you're doing is you're turning. One, two, three. There's your turning. You're doing, you keep doing your one, two, three. One, two, three. Take the third one and over. One, two, three. Take the third one and over. And it's growing a bit more. Look at that, it's growing a bit more. Now what you'll notice, like mine, sometimes it gets a bit knotty underneath. So you just give it a bit of a hairbrush. Make it nice and uh, get all the knots out so it's easier to keep going. So what I'm going to do, end the video here for now, and I'm going to come back and show you when it's a little bit longer. And this bit keeps growing. Okay, see you in a bit. Hello, so I'm back. I've been doing the one, two, three, and turn. And you can now see, look at that, how far mine has grown. So this is enough now for me to make a small bracelet. So what I'm going to do is going to hold the top. You're just going to release all of your threads and yarns from the little slots that you cut. And then you can pull off your um, piece of card. Okay, there we go. And then... Okay, so tie mine in a knot. I quite like these dangly ends, but you can make them as short or little as you want. You can plait them if you want to. And there you have your bracelet. A nice little friendship bracelet. So I have to think about who I might give this to. I've got a friend whose birthday it is, so maybe I'll give it to hers. See, cool little bracelet. So you, and you can see the lovely pattern that it's made as it went through those different colours. So this is just two colours, but you can use all seven if you want, seven different colours, or you can have it one colour, absolutely up to you. So that's what you can do with just a, looks a bit of a mess now, doesn't it, because I've taken it off, just a piece of cardboard, cut a circle, split it into eight, cut your little slips down the end, and cut yourself seven strips of wool and that's what you can make and you can make loads of these and as i say they're very very soothing to sit and make um it you know might take an evening might take you a bit more might take you much less really really soothing to make hope you enjoy it and please um show me what you've made and um we can compare okay well that was enjoyable i hope you enjoyed making the friendship lace bracelet love to see yours please do post the pictures of your friendship bracelets and uh, bye for now